we're going to start with the a line across the body, uh, then the kicking leg, and then the position of the football. To add any shapes, just click in the top part of Keynote, click on shape, and then for this one we'll select line. Okay, so you can draw your line first, uh, because it doesn't contrast too well. So all you need to do there then is this format. Uh, you can change the color. So if, for example, if you want to match the color over here, so you select the color wheel, you select the eyedropper tool, and then um, you select a color or a pixel color that you want to use. And you can see it changes there. Okay, and I used, I think it was size 15. Oh, it's way too big. Okay, let's go for 30. Still too big. Okay, back down to 20. And also too big. I'm going to go for 12. Okay, that'll do. Uh, and then what you want to do is maybe just copy and paste that line for his kicking leg, like so. Okay. Uh, you can copy across the circle. In fact, you can copy across any of these, but uh, just bear in mind it will also copy across the um, animation as well. So what we're going to do instead is just draw a circle, put it over uh, the ball in the position of his foot, and again, format that um, color fill nothing, and the border uh, will reflect. Oh. So that's going to be a line, and of course, you want the same color, which it already should be. So just click color wheel, eyedropper, and go back over a previous one, like so. Once you've drawn your shapes, the next step will be to add in the animation. Okay, so I'm going to go for the same style of animation for all. Uh, the two lines and the circle, but also the text uh, will be the same as this. So for that text I used, let's just double check, it's called Lens Flare. Okay, so I've already um, put this in earlier, but I'll just uh, remove so you can see how it's done. Um, just add effect, and I went for Lens Flare here. Now, I'm playing that from right to left, uh, this one's left to right and I want it to play for five seconds. The reason why I'm playing it for five seconds is because in my um, annotation, uh, my narration, which I will add later, I want to talk a little bit about player B um, in the introduction, okay? So this will be automatically. Okay, so that's that bit done. And then what you'll need to do is just to add your animations onto each shape. Now, the order will depend on uh, the order of your sports analysis. Okay, so I'll be talking about body position, kicking leg, and position of the football. Okay, so go to the line first for body position, uh, add effect, and I went for all of these, I went for trace. And then for each one, uh, I went for how long it's going to play for. So I was happy with three seconds, okay, for each one. Um, but we'll do those, the rest later on. Now, for this one, it doesn't really matter, left to right, whatever you want. And then you can just apply the rest of your animation. So add effect, remember it's built in, trace, uh, three seconds. And then finally, add effect, trace, and again, three seconds. All right, okay, there we go. Then after you've done all that, uh, you wanna go to your build order. Now, I've already set these to play automatically after each other. So let's do the same here. So this will appear after build four, which uh, this is build four here. You can see when I select four, uh, it will be highlighted over here. And then player B of course is the text, okay? Now, then I want this to play automatically after build five, which is the text. Now, we do need to put in a delay. Uh, the reason for the delay is um, it gives you gives you time to do your sports analysis. So for mine, I've went for um, in the initial one, player A. Uh, the first one just there is no delay because it's straight after player A. So I'll be straight into my sports analysis. But for every one, you can see here it's ten seconds. So I'm just going to replicate that down here for player B. So line should be after, and um, we just type in 10 here, like so. Um, you need to give yourself 
time to do this last bit of narration because as soon as this stops playing, uh, Keynote will go to the next slide or I'll stop playing the presentation. So go into your slide settings, so just click the slide, go to animate, and then select automatically, and then select 10 seconds. Once you've done that, um, that will give you 10 seconds after this appears to do your last bit of analysis. I mean, you can increase it if you want to or decrease it. And then after you've done all of that, just go to File, Export, QuickTime, don't change anything here, or at least check that it just says self-playing, five and two seconds, and the format must be 1024 by 768 pixels. Select next, give it an appropriate name, and put it on your desktop, and it's click export, and you're good to go. Uh, by good to go, I mean you'll be able to then export, or sorry, import uh, this QuickTime movie, which is creating, uh, into iMovie.